verse of the day is Mark chapter 16, verse 6, which says, Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? Welcome to Cell Life Church Live. Thank you for joining us as we share an inspirational message that is relevant to life today. Happy, Happy Easter! Easter. <laughs> he is risen. Yes, he is. He is risen indeed. Yes. We are delighted that you would join us on this Resurrection Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Cell Life Church mm -hmm. Live. Not only is it Easter Sunday, but it also marks the first year anniversary of this webcast. We've been doing this for a year. For a year now. Awesome. How exciting is that? It is. It is. <laughs> In the spirit of celebration today, we have a few exciting things happening over the next 20 minutes or so. So make sure, make sure that you stay in tune with us. Yeah, yeah. Stay logged in and, and watch uh, some neat things. You know, throughout this webcast, one of the fun things, and we said it last week, is we're having a virtual Easter egg hunt. Yes, this is fun. <laughs> this, well, how do you do that? Well, it's really simple. If you pay close attention and you watch closely, you will see pink Easter eggs appearing on your screen, just all around us. <laughs> and uh, count how many that you see, and we'll let you know at the end how many that there were, and we'll see if you got all of them, if you saw all of them. It's going to be a lot of fun, and you know, frankly, I'm I'm the fun guy. I'm all about the fun bit, and um, Kelly's the taskmaster. <laughs> also, at the conclusion of our encouraging message, we are going to cut into this cake back here yeah. and uh, talk about this past year. It's only a couple minutes, so you don't want to miss that either. It's it's going to be uh, it's some really good stuff. Yes, yes. Easter is a very exciting time of the year. It is. It takes place in the spring mm -hmm. and is determined by what day the Jewish Passover is held. And that's why the date of Easter changes shifting around, from yeah. year to year. And so it's determined by the Passover. Mm -hmm. Spring is a wonderful time to celebrate the resurrection yeah, of is. Christ. Because in spring, yes. everything is made new. And in Christ, we are made new. Yes. So at Easter, we are given a new beginning, right. which is exactly what we want to talk about for the next few minutes, this yeah. new beginning. Yeah, these new beginnings. It's, it's, it's really cool. You know, this is the time of year when we look out the window and we see buds beginning to yes. grow on trees and flowers beginning to blossom. It is so beautiful. And, uh, yeah, oh, it's just great. Some of you may have seen your lawns starting to grow. Mm -hmm. I know we've seen our lawn starting to grow. Our, our teenage son, I don't think he's real pleased that the lawn is starting to grow because <laughs> as in many households, it's the teenage son's responsibility to go out and mow, mow that lawn. The lawn. And then dad goes out and says, you missed that spot, and you missed that spot, and you missed that spot, and do it again. And, uh, and uh, I get to do the weed whacking, though. That's kind of fun and trimming, so I, I enjoy that. But you know, these are all signs of life, mm -hmm. signs of life. You know, winter is a time of dormancy, yeah. really a, t a time mm -hmm. of death. And what was planted last spring has shriveled up and died. Uh, the hard work that was put into planting a garden last summer is now dead and barren. And now you're looking at this ugly patch of ground again that you need to return over and get ready and pull roots and stuff out. <laughs> the beautiful shade trees of summer have lost their leaves yeah. and they've all fallen to the ground and of course we've raked them all up and everything <laughs> again our teenage sons are out there raking up all those leaves and things and uh yeah it's, it's just one of those things winter is a very cold very dry very dreary time which makes spring so much better yes <laughs> recently i experienced the first signs of spring it brought a smile to my face and joy to my heart to see daffodils growing around town. Right. Where we live, this is the first sign of spring, yeah. shortly followed by tulips. Right. You know, daffodils with their yellow and white mm -hmm. petals, they bring light to a barren mm -hmm. garden or yeah. yard. I enjoy seeing these mm -hmm. each spring because I realize that summer is just around the corner and those cold winter nights are finally coming to an end. Yeah. The days are getting longer yeah. and there's just color out and about yes. in the yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, you know, it, it is, it's, it's amazing. And you know, one of the neat things about daffodils <laughs> is sometimes you'll actually see them coming up through the snow even. Yeah. They, they come just, up so they're early, beautiful. they're just absolutely yeah. beautiful. 
Uh, you know, in the same way that spring is an expectation of greater things yet to come, so was the death and resurrection of Jesus yes. Christ. You know, John uh, chapter 8, verse 12 says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Amen. You know, Jesus' resurrection brings us new beginnings. Yes. He brings us life, hope, and joy in every aspect of our life. Yes. We now can die to our flesh, accept mm. the sacrifice he made on the cross for our sins and live in him through his resurrection on Easter right, morning right, because yeah. he is the life yeah. of life. Our soul comes to life when we give our lives to Jesus. We no longer have to be held down by our sin, which brings death, but now we can experience that abundant life. Right, right. And you know, right in line with that, John chapter 10, verse 10 says, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Yes. More abundantly. I love that right. word, abundantly. Right. You overflowing. Know, overflowing, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, when we say yes to Jesus and the sacrifice he made for us on the cross, we are given an abundant life. Mm -hmm. We are given the freedom to live life to its fullest. Yes. You yes. know, and that abundance, when you think of, of abundance, mm -hmm. I love that, the cup overflowing, mm -hmm. you know, the, um, I, think of, uh, I think of making peanut butter toast and putting honey on it, mm -hmm. and you, you, you squeeze the honey out onto the toast, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of, if you put too much, it just kind of overflows yeah. on the bread and it makes a huge mess, but it's, it's a gooey, sweet, mm -hmm. yummy mess. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just that abundance, that overflowing, that that's the abundant life that Jesus brings, that joy-filled life, that, that yes. life that just spills out over everybody and everything that you come in right. contact with. That's the abundance that Jesus yes. says he brings. Yes. It, the, the dreariness is gone. The right. dry spells are gone. All of that is absolutely gone. Right. You know, and, uh, it's like that daffodil or that tulip just blooming as our new life in Christ right, opens up and we right, experience yeah. life. Well, and, and even, even more than that, you know, there, there's a song by Casting Crowns. Uh, it's a, an American uh, Christian group. It's actually, if I remember right, it was a bunch of youth pastors got together, if, if this Could is the be. right right group. Um, but anyways, uh, it's an American um, Christian uh, music group and and they sing a song and, and one of the lines in it uh, says this it's time for us to more than just survive we were made to thrive you know there's a big difference in surviving and thriving yes you can have now i've had lawns that were surviving <laughs> you know last year we had a very hot summer last year um very dry we live in the in the desert of washington state and um, we had a very dry year and uh more so than usual and our lawn showed it. And uh, so we were doing a lot of water and things like that. And we still, we lost pieces of the lawn. We've got to fix and things like that. And it was surviving. We've barely. All, <laughs> barely. We've all seen people that are just surviving. Right. You know, the, the people that are kind of like Eeyore or, uh, you know, a Schlepprock. Or, and I'm really <laughs> dating myself here. But, uh, you know, these people are just like, oh, woe is me. I'm making it. Yeah, I'm getting out of bed each day. I'm trudging to work. That's surviving. No, a life in Christ, these new beginnings, when you say yes to Jesus and you accept Jesus into your life, he has a life for you that you can thrive. Yes. You can blossom. You can grow. Yes. You can be you, you know, like a thick lawn, a thick luscious lawn that you got to mow twice a week. And it's okay because it's your teenage son doing it. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's this thick lawn. It's this great life. Mm -hmm. You're excited to meet. Yeah. You wake up in the morning excited to meet a new day. Maybe after your first cup of coffee. That's okay. <laughs> but still, you're excited to meet it's, the challenges that day yeah, and the experiences that day. Yeah, it's a life of purpose. Day. Yeah, it's a life of purpose. And, and it's a life of, of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. And that's what that abundant life right. is all about. Right. As Christians, we have hope of eternity in our hearts. So we can thrive here on earth, not just get by. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When we have a healthy heart, 
then we see the good in things. Yeah. You're able to see God in your everyday life, in yeah. the mundane tasks, yeah. in your job, mm -hmm. in your school, mm -hmm. in your home, in, mm -hmm. in these things, even in trials, you can yeah. still see God. We yeah. can see God at work in our midst. Yes. And we can have joy-filled hearts. So that is having an abundant life, this life that Amen. thrives, this life filled of hope. Amen. And know that we are just passing through, yep. you know, that yep. our heart is in eternity. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, yeah, that, that is that thriving. Mm -hmm. It truly is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not enough for us to just go through the motions. We are given abundant life. Yes. If you're just going through the motions... Find that joy again. Yes. Find that joy and that purpose in Christ. We have new beginnings in mm -hmm. Christ. That's where it is. Mm -hmm. That's that weed and feed in our life. Jesus <laughs> is that weed and feed in our life. You know, he helps us keep that positive heart attitude. And um, We need but, to have a picture of a lawn. I here. know. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, when we say yes to Jesus, we have died to our sin. The old is gone and the new has Amen. come. Amen. Our challenge to you this Resurrection Sunday is to take this new beginning that Jesus freely offers you and decide to live. Yes. Decide to thrive, not just survive. Live life to its fullest. Live life abundantly. Right. Right. And on Easter, what a great time to be able to do that, to yeah. put your hope and your exactly. trust in Christ yeah, and exactly. receive his eternal mm -hmm. life um, mm -hmm. into your heart. Yeah. That's what he gives us yeah. is through forgiveness of sins. So what passions and desires has the Lord yeah. placed on your heart? What is it that uh, burns within you mm. that you look forward to maybe not today but down the road you know God has just given you that desire that passion for whatever it is what is that how can you be on mission with what God has gifted you with what are those things that he has given you maybe it's something that you think oh it's so small and so petty um, like God can never live use on the internet <laughs> well I think that that's what people tend to think yeah is, well, sure. I'm not called to preach or right. I'm not called to do that. But what if you have the gift of organization? Me, <laughs> that's my gift. It doesn't sound so exciting and flamboyant and la, 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 la. But when you have a gift like that, you're able to uh, be the helper and come alongside and even in the background and make it possible for people to get up and preach. Or and you can keep your extroverted, fun <laughs> husband you yes. know, on task. <laughs> you know, just to name a few, you know, you don't have to be the greatest singer or the greatest piano player or whatever, you know, uh, God's gifted you with something, working with children, Amen. working with whatever. Um, use Amen. those passions, those desires, those gifts he has given you. Um, and to read more about that in the Bible, you look at uh, the parable of the talents sure. and um, how God just blesses us right. and desires us to use those right. things. Life is ministry. Life is ministry. Life is ministry. And no matter where you are or what you're doing, right. Um, we can have that abundant life and share right. that life with yep. others. Exactly. So may you be encouraged to live a life of hope, yeah. of joy, yeah. and of victory. And may you faithfully walk in the gift of salvation mm. Jesus has given you. Victory in Jesus. No, I'm not going to sing for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll save you from that. But a song just comes to mind. Yes. Because we do have victory in Jesus. We have victory in him. Yeah. So one year ago this weekend, we started bringing this live webcast to you each yes. week. And it wasn't meant to be just another preaching and teaching time, though some of these webcasts are that way. Um, we wanted to encourage you and help equip you to be the church instead of just attending a church. And we've done a bunch of different things. You know, we, we have different segments. We do different things. We have our verse of the day each week, which is kind of funny. I don't know why we didn't call it the verse of the week because we don't do this each day. We That's just do true. it each week. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, so we have our verse of the day, which we start each webcast with. And it's, you know, our daughter delivers that. It's been fun to watch her just over the years see how she's grown. Yes. You know, she's just, a, she, uh, well, she turns 12 in a couple of months. So she's 11 years old, and um, it's amazing to see how she's grown in this. Uh, we've done other things. We've got our... Uh, be the church segment. Our Be the Church segments. And we've had a, we've had a, a number of those where we've 
celebrated people actually being the hands and feet mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. And uh, we even did an interview with, with, uh, with one gentleman, and, and we posted that. I encourage you to go back and check those out. And we're always looking for more Be the Church stories. Yeah. We have awesome quotes that we share mm -hmm. sometimes. That's a lot of fun. And some of the awesome quotes we've had, really inspiring and really make you think. Mm -hmm. We've had a, a number of different things like that. We've had um, question and answer time. We just started that here a couple months ago. If you've got a question, go ahead and send us the questions. We'll answer them live online like this and uh, and start discussions. Mm -hmm. It's good. So we've had lots of different segments aside from the encouraging messages that we share, but the encouraging message is a central piece to each yes. webcast. Yes. You know, and that's that's part of you know being the church. You know, it's not we want to encourage you and help equip you to be the church instead of just attending a mm -hmm. church. We're excited to report that this is truly happening. Yeah. You know, the reach of Cell Life Church has increased significantly over this past year. Many of you know about the ministry in Pakistan. We talk about that. And um, just a, a little quick side note, we just got a message right before we started the webcast that there, on this Easter Sunday in Pakistan, one of the traditions there is families, after their Easter celebrations, go out to parks and things and have family time and things like that. And there's a park where many Christians gather and children gather. And there was a suicide bomber that just went and um, exploded himself um, and uh, killed many Christians, many children uh, in, a, in a public mm -hmm. park in, in Lahore. And so um, Pakistan needs your prayers, yes. my friends. They, yes. they absolutely need your prayers. And I don't mean to throw that somber note, but I, I wanted to make sure we shared that with you. Um, but through our evangelist, Tahir Mahmood, uh, there in Pakistan with Cell Life Church Pakistan, we are ministering to approximately 250 families each week in seven, seven different villages. That works out to be right around 1,000 people yes, um, just Lord. in one piece of the ministry from Cell Life Church. <laughs> you know, Cell Life Church Live is just one piece of Cell Life Church. And so we, we encourage you to check out our website about that. Um, yes. It's, it's just amazing the reach we have. That's right. Through this webcast, we are reaching people in Indonesia, Iraq, Myanmar, Russia, China, Peru, and so many other places. Yeah, you can see on the, the map right over here on the screen, uh, all the blue countries, that's where uh, over the last year where we've reached. And that's pretty much uh, every continent except for Antarctica. Um, <laughs> actually, every continent except for Antarctica. Even, even you know, it, lo it looks like about a third of Africa even we've got uh, a reach into over this last year. Praise Amazing. the Lord. We really had no idea what the Lord was doing <laughs> no. uh, when he prompted us to start this. Yeah. Cell Life Church is all about being the church. Mm. Our church leadership exists to equip you for the work of the ministry, right. which is being the hands and feet of Christ wherever you may be. Right. We want to thank you for joining us yeah. over this past year, and we invite you to celebrate with us. Yeah, you know, we, we have this cake back here to yes. commemorate the occasion. And while Kelly cuts us each a piece of cake, um, how many of you want a piece of cake? <laughs> um, and she cuts each one of us a piece of cake. Um, how many eggs did you count? D do you think you got them all? You know, we would love for you to tell us in the comments below how many eggs you counted. You know, our virtual Easter egg hunt. It was, it was a shot in the dark. We are just trying something new. It sounded like fun. Um, you know, jot down in the comments below how many eggs you counted. Um, I can tell you there were actually 15 eggs. Thank you very much, my wife. Um, there were 15 eggs. Did you see them all? If not, you can count them again as you share this video with others. So see, Great there, idea. there's a little hint. You know, you <laughs> go over to your neighbor's house, open up the laptop, say, hey, let's check out Cell Life Church Live. I only counted 14. He said there were 15. <laughs> you need to count with me. And hey, guess what? They get to hear this message too. Awesome. Um, as we sign off, we encourage you to think of someone that you can share this webcast yes. with in all seriousness. And we encourage you to share the love, grace, peace, and forgiveness of Jesus Christ with someone today. So be encouraged in Jesus' name. Yeah. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Thank you for joining Cell Life Church Live. We hope you've been encouraged. If this message touched you in some special way and you would like to contact us, you may do so on our Facebook page, website, this YouTube channel, or email. We enjoy hearing how these messages impact your life. Would you consider supporting Cell Life Church financially? Contributions can be made online and are tax deductible in the United States. Details for giving can be found on our website at www.celllifechurch.tv.